I think my 12-year-old son is cyberbullying me. <laughs> Seriously. Every time he walks by me now, when he thinks I'm not looking, he's taking pictures of me with his phone. Really fast. And so I checked his camera roll. And there are all these photos of his friends with drawings of penises coming out of their mouth. I know. I... <laughs> What struck me was that the drawings were actually really good. <laughs> there was shading and tufts of hair. And they were hand-drawn, I mean, finger-drawn. So somewhere out there on some social media platform, there's a photo of me washing dishes or cooking dinner with a finger-drawn dick attached to my face. <laughs> So I recently got a terrible, terrible haircut at Supercuts. <laughs> and what was weird was when I told my friends, it elicited many comments, but none of which were sympathy. <laughs> it was like they were irritated with me. Like They were all like, what's wrong with you? Why would you go there? Are you insane? Like. I'm sorry if I offended you by getting an economical haircut <laughs> in a span of time that was convenient to me. <laughs> and it happened to be right next door to CBS. <laughs> so, um, I am a woman with a very tight schedule. I'm not working right now, so any appointment I make cuts into my 24-hour personal time. <laughs> So as I was sitting there in the haircut, I just knew it sucked. And as a grown-up, you really can't storm out of places when you pay with a credit card. <laughs> but I, I'm not a monster, so I did slam that credit card down on the desk. <laughs> Later, I thought about it. I'm like, what should I have done? Should I have like yelled at the lady until she cried or knocked the chair over? Maybe not have tipped her, but what I wanted to do was take the scissors and give her the exact same hack job that she gave me. <laughs> and be like, how do you like it? Do you think that this is an appropriate haircut for an adult? <laughs> but, you know, all calm and civilized to show that I was just being critical, but not, not crazy. So that's what it's all about now. How do you give emphatic, negative feedback without looking crazy? We all know there's way too many YouTube videos out there. And I am already on one YouTube channel with a dick drawn on my face. <laughs> um, <sighs> okay. um, so, Anyway, what is next? <laughs> oh, okay. okay. So my name's Yumi, and it's pronounced you, me. And I, no matter how articulate I am, I know that the next time I see you, you will pronounce it wrong. There's a 100% chance. And even if I get in your face and say really slowly, you, me, when I see you next, you will call me Umi, or Uma, and one time, Emu. <laughs> and it's too late, then I can't correct you. It's uh, too awkward, and then I know my funeral, they're gonna say, Umami lived a <laughs> us who do have names that are phonetically challenged, we have many enemies. Starbucks workers, substitute teachers, fitness instructors with headsets, but there's, there's the worst offender of them all, Siri. That reminds me, um, have you heard of, there is a new platform, fundraising platform, that's a counterpart to GoFundMe. It's new, it's, fa it's my favorite. It's called Go Fuck Yourself. <laughs> it's, it's the less friendly version. But it's also the response that you can give if someone ignores your original GoFundMe request. 
So it's spring now, and there's so many fundraisers and charity events uh, for schools, sports leagues, Democratic candidates, or what I like to call senior citizen fun runs. <laughs> you really can't go to a dinner party anymore without there being a silent auction in the living room. <laughs> I really wanted to vote in Super Tuesday. I told all my friends that. And they were like, too bad you don't live in one of the 14 states anymore. And I was like, too bad I'm a convicted felon. <laughs> my new favorite Facebook greeting <laughs> to, for my friends from high school is, happy birthday. Glad to see you're active and regular. Because <laughs> I am, I'm really, really regular. Like, as a grown woman, I'm not sure if that's a gift or a curse. <laughs> if you say, hey, let's schedule an appointment at nine o'clock, I'll say, great. But can we make it 9 10? <laughs> that reminds me, gotta go. 